Kingdoms of England. This is episode 8, and today is Val Athelstan. He ruled from 925 to 940 AD. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, but... Um... The reason I haven't been doing them is because they have forgot. B. These PowerPoints take a lot of preparation, man. I mean... And... I made this one just so that you're aware I haven't forgotten about them, so yeah. His name's obviously King Athelstan. He was born in 895 and his parents were Edward, Edward the Elder and Egwin, which was Edward's first wife. And... In relation to Elizabeth II, he is the 30th great-granduncle. He ascended the throne on July 17th, 924, and was crowned on September the 4th of the year after, at Kingston-upon-Thames, when he was 30, and because he was unmarried, he had no legitimate children. Um, he died on October 27th, 940, 940 at Gloucester. Gloucester was buried at Malmesbury and was succeeded by his half brother Edmund. And this meant that he reigned for 16 years, 3 months, and 10 days. Um, before I go any further, um, a lot of the information I get is sourced from Wikipedia and a place called um, Brit Monarchs. Um, I'll leave the link to the Athelstan page in the description so you can check it out. I get a lot of my information from there. So yeah. Um what was? Well he did a lot of defending really. He defeated an invasion by Scots, Irish and the men of Strathclyde at um Braunburn in nine thirty seven, which is one of the things he's most credited for. And he um reconquered York. Um, after um, the Scandinavian Vikings um, got it, and he um, increased in the English power on the Welsh and Scottish borders. Now he had quite a lot of um, achievements. Um, in 934 he invaded Scotland and forced Constantine II, who was a king at the time, to submit to him, but Athelstan's rule was rented by the Scots and Vikings, and in 937 they invaded England. Um, Athelstan centralised um, the government. Um, he increased control over the production of charters and summoned um, leading figures from distant areas to his councils. These meetings were also attended by rulers from outside his territory, especially Welsh, Welsh kings, who, th who therefore acknowledged his overlordship. So basically, he made friends with a lot of people. Um, and as you read down here in a minute, um, well, we'll read down here in a minute. Um, more legal texts survived from his reign than any other 10th century English king, so anyone in the, 19, in the 900s. So that's, um, that's his father, him, his son, and maybe the person before him. After him, I mean. Um, they show his concern about widespread robberies and the threat they pose to social order. So basically, he was really concerned for his people. He he wanted to keep his people happy, which is um, unusual for some kings. Um, his legal reforms brought built on those of his... Um, he made some legal reforms and those were built um, on Alfred the Great, so he sort of advanced them um, based on his grandfathers. He was one of the most pious um, West Western Saxon kings and was known for collecting relics and founding churches. So, yeah, he was fairly religious and, yeah. His household was the center of English learning um, during his reign and it laid the foundation of the Benedictine mon monastic um, reform later in the century. So basically, he he started prepare he prepared for a um, religious reform. Um, that would happen later in the 900s. Now, no other Western Saxon king played as important a role in European politics as Athelstan, and he arranged the marriages of several of his sisters to continental rulers to sort of settle the alliances between um, England and the rest of Europe. Now, there weren't as many events during his reign as this. Um, in 924, he became King of Wessex and Mercia on the death of his father, Edward the Elder. 
in 926, two years later, he annexed Northumbria and, for, and forced the, king, the kings of Wales, Strathclyde, the Picts and the Scots to submit to him. In 934, Athelstan invaded Scotland, and three years later, at the Battle of Brennan Burn, Athelstan defeats the alliance of Scots, Celts, Danes, and Vikings. And three years later after that, he died, and is buried at Malmesbury. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I really enjoy making these, even though they take a lot of effort to make. Um, but yeah. Um, if you've got any other um, websites where I can get some information so I can make um, my future videos even more detailed, then I will be really grateful, because you'll A, get a longer video, and B, learn some stuff that you might not be able to get f just from browsing the internet for certain sites. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you.